What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Road to Top 10 in the Ubers tier. This time I'm using a stall team made by my boy Edgar, Tank Weezing, featuring Tank Weezing. Pretty fun stall team, uh, pretty successful. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did say I'd be showing every single match on this ladder series, but, oops, wrong thing. Um, because I don't play back to back, like daily, I a few days ago, or in between every single time I uh, play, I actually went down to like... 15 something because of decay and I really didn't want to make another episode of me just getting back the points that I lost So I decided to ladder up a bit. I'm back at 1638 That's somewhere around where I was uh, when I ended the last episode and uh, Yeah, so I hope you guys continue to support this series. You know leave a like um <laughs> Okay, I was dared to say this so don't hate me uh, if you enjoyed this video or want to support it <laughs> Leave a like and refresh the page don't hate me, okay? I was there to say that. But uh, in any case, let's look for a battle and uh, I'll pause until we find... Nope, I will not. Alright, so my opponent has a pretty uh, pretty bulky team right here. Looking like T-Spikes are going to be nice for his Mewtwo as well as his uh, his Kyogre. And uh, his Arceus, uh, either Ho-Oh or his Giratina have Defog. So, I actually want to lead off with my... Um, Tyranitar, just in case he decides to lead off with his uh, Kyogre, but he might also lead off with his Ferrothorn. But either way, I'm just going to lead off with Tyranitar, as he does decide to lead off with his Kyogre, which means I get at the Sand, and I do have a pretty safe switch in being Arceus Grass, so I'm going to go directly into that, as uh, he goes right for the Surf, so. Um, that doesn't do too much at all, uh, leading me to believe that... Actually, I don't know what item he is. He might be Chesto. I don't think that's Specs. It's definitely not Specs damage. Is that Specs damage? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to pull a uh, double right here into T-Tar, predicting his um, Ho-Oh to want to come out. As he ends up going out to Ferrothorn, fine by me as I can just get up my rocks right here. Actually, do I have re any reason to go for rocks? I can just go back onto my Arceus Grass and uh, go for the Will-O-Wisp. Now I'm going to go for my rocks right here, as he's more than likely going to go for his own. And uh, I don't want to get Leech Seated, so I'm just going to switch out into my um, Arceus Grass right here, as uh, he doesn't end up going for that seed. And... What I can do is go right for the safe recovery. He's more than likely going to want to switch. Uh, I don't think he would stay in. And uh, going for recovery is definitely uh, my best play, seeing as how I'm at 50%. And I need this thing to take hits from his uh, Kyogre as it is my initial switching. So I'm expecting him to actually want to switch out into his Ho-Oh as uh, that ends up happening. And I do have a pretty safe switch in being my um, Tyranitar. I am running Lumberry, so I'm not fearing the burn from Sacred Fire. I'm bulky enough to take EQs, and the re the fact that he has leftovers uh, leads us to believe that he doesn't have the uh, the EQ. So, he ends up going for the Sacred Fire, and uh, what I'm actually going to do is go for the Roar just to try and force some switches. He's definitely not going to want to stay in, as uh, he ends up switching out into his Giratina. So, I force him out into his Mewtwo. Uh, this is okay for me, not really though. Um, I do have Xerneas, which can come in and take a Focus Blast, Side Strike, or anything. So I'm just going to go out to my Xerneas just to be able to take his attacks as he ends up pulling uh, the double, or a switch rather, into his Giratina. Regardless, this is a good matchup for me as um, I won Force him not to defog. Or he'd probably go for Roar or something right here. Then again, he did see my leftovers, so he's more than likely going to want to switch out into his Ho-Oh. I'm just going to go right for the safe Moon Blast anyway, as unfortunately for him, I get a crit. Um, that sucked, <laughs> but he did have a Ferrothorn as well as a Ho-Oh, which could just come in, so I don't really know why he stayed in with his Giratina. Was... And he saw my leftover, so yeah, I don't really agree with that play, but he ends up going out to Ferrothorn. Uh, guys, this is stall, so I am playing like it's stall. I'm actually going to go out into my Weezing because I could take this as an opportunity to get up a Toxic Spike, which will definitely help me out as he decides to go for the Gyro Ball right here. And uh, Tank Weezing, definitely just a tank. Going to get up the... Um, First layer of Toxic Spikes as he decides to go for Protect, probably scouting for Will-O-Wisp. And I kind of want to get up a second layer just in case this is Arceus, uh, Arceus Ghost, though he does have Giratina, but I want to get up a second layer. So, actually I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp expecting him to Leech Seed first, and then what I'll do is get up a second layer of Toxic Spikes. Now, like I said guys, this is Stall, so I have to play it a bit more defensively. Really not used to that because I'm a really aggressive player, but... This uh, Ferrothorn, once it's gone, it looks like I can just wreck him with, um, it looks like I can wreck him with my Kangaskhan, so I might just pull a switch in the Kangaskhan, I could also go out to Marcia's Grass, um, I think Arceus Grass is a safe play, though he's more than likely going to want to switch out into his Ho-Oh, but from there I could just go out to my T-Tar, though T-Tar doesn't seem like too bad of a play anyway, so I'm going to go out to my T-Tar, expecting the, uh, 
the ho -Oh or the Kyogre to want to come out right here. Um, I'm not really too worried about ho -Oh because I do have priority fake out and then I could go for the uh, return after that with my Kangaskhan and knock him out. So I am expecting him to want to go out to that ho -Oh as he ends up bringing it out. And um, what I can do right here is go right for the safe stone edge. No reason to go for roar uh, because... Any damage on that Ferrothorn is nice. I do have Arceus Grass to completely shut it down. So I'm going right for Stone Edge right here. As he probably does predict my Roar. So he tries and goes for the Sacred Fire Burn. And that is a huge threat gone right there. So uh, the only threats he has are his Arceus and, um, and his Mewtwo. In all honesty, Kyogre is a threat. But I do have Arceus Grass which can come in. Um, I'm expecting him to Ice Beam right here. But it doesn't really matter. Because I'll be able to eat that up. So... Yeah, he definitely is Specs. Okay, so that was Specs damage that we saw earlier. I don't want to go for Grass Knot and get like the Iron Barbs damage from uh, Ferrothorn. I'm just going to go right for the Safe Recover. As uh, Ferrothorn is more than likely coming out. He decides to go out to Mewtwo though, which is great because... Um, well, actually what I want to do is force him into his... Uh, I want to force him into his Arceus. That way I can just defog away these Stealth Rocks. But I'm going to go into my Tyranitar as fodder just to get up the... Uh, just to get up the sand, in all honesty, I do also, actually I have a pretty safe switch in being Aegislash in the uh, rain, so I'll be able to take any hit he wants to go for as he goes right for the side strike, that's fine by me, rain is up, so I'll be able to take any one hit and I can just go right for pursuit, um, I'm not expecting him to want to stay in, seeing as how rain's up, and I got him, so that's another threat gone, uh, he does still have his Arceus though, so... We don't know what type of Arceus that is. Yeah, I'm thinking E-Killer, but it could also be Rock. As he's kind of weak to um, Ho-Oh. But he does have Giratina, but Giratina can't really do too much. So, able to knock him out with the uh, Pursuit. And uh, let's just pause until he decides to make a move. So he decides to go out to his Kyogre. That's fine, because I do have King Shield. And I'll be able to get off the um, more damage on him with this King Shield. In all honesty, I could possibly stay in, but I have no reason to, seeing as how Arceus Grass is a really, really safe switch, and I'll only be taking uh, 25 to 30% from this, as this does even less than that, and uh, I'll just be able to go right for the Recover, as uh, I'll be able to eat up any hits. So I'm going to go for Recover one more time, that way I can get to the uh, most amount of HP as possible before actually deciding to hit him with a Grass Knot. And uh, basically what this does is I'll be able to get enough amount of HP to be able to take a plus 2 E speed from his Arceus. If he has a Lumberry, um, I want to be in with my Arceus Grass, that way I can burn it with will o -Wisp. So it's looking uh, pretty nice, pretty tasty for me. Why did I say tasty? <laughs> I must be hungry. Hey, uh, all you guys watching World Cup, it's uh, pretty nice. So he ends up going out into his uh, Arceus Grass right here. He's more than likely... I don't know what set he's running actually, but I don't think I can lose this unless he's like refresh. Right, I'm gonna go out to my Weezing. I could just go for Grass Knot. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Grass Knot right here, as um it does a hell of a lot. So he's running leftovers on him, which means he can't knock me out with the plus two extreme speed. So I'll be able to survive that and um, go right for the Grass Knot and finish him off. And his last is his Ferrothorn, which um, in all honesty I'll be able to beat, but it's gonna be a process. So I hope you guys don't mind if I just pause it until I beat this Ferrothorn uh, because it's just going to be a little process so I'm going to pause until uh, I win and yeah I th I'm pretty sure I win right now but going to pause it and we'll be right back he forfeited and said bad game hacks let's see if I hacks him did I hacks him ever oh no sacred fire burn oh my fault man sorry about that I mean I, it's not like I had a lumbar or anything <laughs> oh man alright so we are now 1652 let us look for another battle and uh, I'll pause it until we find one I guess I did get the crit on his uh, on his Giratina, but <laughs> oh, I would have made it. What what is he gonna do to me? Burn me? I have aromatherapy. Go for defog. I can just set up my hazards again, and he'll be too weak to live anything. Anyway, my opponent has a really offensive team. Uh, Mawa is gonna be the biggest threat in my opinion, plus Rayquaza, also always a threat. I'm just gonna lead off with my um, Tyranitar just in case he wants to lead off with his Dark Rye. I could have led off with my uh, Weezing in all honesty, but I didn't think it was worth it hmm now see as I'm an aggressive player he's more likely gonna go for his rocks I want to go for my stealth rocks but because this is stall I'm gonna play it safe so I'm gonna switch out into my tank wheezing which is like a hundred percent uh, check to grout on or a counter rather as I'll be able to get up my first layer of toxic spikes um, he decides to go for the roar though 
That's fine though, um, as he ends up forcing me out into my edge slash. I'm actually just gonna go for King Shield just in case he goes for the roar right here as he reveals the lava plume. So definitely do not want to stay in. Tank Weezing though can just come in and um, go for the Will O Wisp if I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to Tank Weezing as it's one of my safest plays. Actually, Arceus Grass is a smarter play, so I'm gonna go out to Arceus Grass. I can take a lava plume from a Groudon in the sand and uh, I can go retaliate back with the. Uh, with the grass knot but turns out I ended up picking the um, my tank wheezing as I actually end up taking that pretty nicely and what I'm gonna do is go right for pain split right here I could potentially burn him I don't know if he's running a lumberry though and I think going for pain split getting back to a good amount of HP is uh, my better play he's more likely gonna either switch out or go for the lava plume again I don't know if he'll go for roar in all honesty so I definitely want to just go for the uh, the um the pain split right here he ends up going out to mawa though um do you counter me <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna go for will o -Wisp. uh if he has sub that could be a potential problem he will be a threat but yeah i don't think that was the smartest play he ends up going back out into his groudon which is fine because i'm able to miss a will o -Wisp. Uh, a bit unfortunate but what i'm gonna do is go for pain split right here uh getting off any damage on this groudon with the pain split he does have lava plume in the sun it's going to be doing a decent amount, but he decides to roar me out into my uh, Kangaskhan, which is honestly okay with me because I'll be able to go right for the fake out right here. I'm um, getting off that nice chip damage, and um, I'm just going to switch out into my uh, Weezing once again because I'll be able to get off a burn on this thing as he decides to go for the Lava Plume, going for uh, the Hacks. That does a nice amount to me. Crap, I'm getting pretty low actually. I need this for his, uh, I need this for his Mawal too. Hmm, kind of tough, what I want to do right here, kind of want to go out to Tyranitar and then pivot back into Weezing, but, oh, I, <laughs> I have Xerneas, what am I talking about, <laughs> I have Xerneas that can easily come in on this uh, attack and just go right for the uh, Moonblast and uh, knock him out, I'm actually going to pull a switch back out into my Weezing though, predicting him to want to go out into his uh, Mawal, but he decides to stay in and just sack, uh, his weather. <laughs> Fine by me, I'll be able to go for Grass Knot right here and knock him out. Wasn't expecting him to switch based on the way that he played it earlier. And um, like I guess the biggest threat is Mawa. I do have Arceus Grass though to burn it. I have that one little toxic spike, toxic spike which will be helping me with uh, Dark Ride, Ditto, Arceus. And basically this is what I love about uh, Tank Weezing plus Mega Kangaskhan. This is why Edgar loves the team plus Sand. That toxic spike plus the fake out damage and all that just coming through. <laughs> It's going to be doing a lot. So he ends up going out into his Rayquaza. Um, this is a threat. See, I want to go for the will o -Wisp. I know I will outspeed him. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. As I miss, as he's able to knock me out with the V-Create. So things are really not going my way right here, guys, unfortunately. But I can't do anything about hacks. It's part of the game. I didn't want to switch on to my T-Tar because after V-Create, I wouldn't have been able to take an Outrage. So I'm going to go right for my Stealth Rocks right here. Guys, he has a few safe switch-ins. He has um, Mawal. He has a potential Arceus. I don't know what Arceus it is, though. I'm thinking it's E-Killer based on his team. But getting up this um, get up this spike is definitely... This Toxic Spike is definitely going to help me. So he decides to go out into his, uh, his Ditto. I am fine with that because I'm just going to go right for Stone Edge. Get off as much damage as possible on this thing. As he, de he decides to go for the Roar. So <laughs> I'm okay with this. He really can't do too much to me at all. And um, what I'm actually going to do is just go for Pursuit, just to get off a bit of chip damage. If he does decide to switch out, that means he'll go down to the rocks. But he decides to go for Roar as he forces me back out into my Tyranitar as I'm able to knock out the Ditto. Um, he has a few switch-ins. Mawal is definitely one of his safest, so he's going to end up going out to Mawal. This is a threat, man. Really, really unfortunate that, um, that I... Uh, well, that I miss will o -Wisp on with Quasar, though I don't know how much it mattered in all honesty, but in the case, I'm just going to sack my Weezing right here. It did its job, got out the T-Spikes as he's going to Mega Evolve and go right for the Iron Head. And um, now what I can do is go right out into my Mega Kangaskhan, go for the Fake Out first, and then go for the uh, the Earthquake from there. So I'm going to go right for the Fake Out. Uh, Rayquaza is a pretty decent switching as it could hit me with an Extreme Speed after, but I need to go for Fake Out anyway just to get off any uh, damage on this Mawal as he is going to take that relatively well and um, 
Thankfully, Sandstorm ends, so I'm not going to be taking any extra damage, and I'll be able to go right for the Earthquake. He might not expect it, because a lot of Kangaskhan's do run Crunch over Earthquake. So, able to knock out that threat. Definitely a threat, as um, he still does have a few. His Arceus is, is looking at the most threatening, so I have to play this Kangaskhan pretty carefully. Uh, if Arceus does choose to come in right here, and it's like Life Orb, I'll go for Return, because I'm definitely going to want some uh, extra damage on that thing. So, he ends up going out to his Darkrai. Fine by me as uh, I can just go right out into my Tyranitar, get up the Sand once again, wear him down with the Dark Void, um, with the uh, Sandstorm plus Sand and all that. Did I just say Sandstorm plus Sand? <laughs> all this residual damage basically and um, just go for a Stone Edge uh, as there's a chance that he can miss. Uh, Dark Rye really can't do too much to my Tyranitar so I'm kind of not expecting him to want to stay in. I'm going to go for Roar, just in case he decides to switch out into his Arceus right here. As you can see, uh, Darkrai is not doing anything to me at all. Um, the reason Darkrai can't do much this gen is because they don't really run Focus Blast. They run Nasty Plot Sludge Bomb, since Dark is, of course, uh, got a boost. so Or Steel got nerfed, rather. So I'm going to go for Roar, just in case I uh, do wake up right here. As uh, I do continue to fall asleep. So a bit unfortunate, but... Um, it's not going to be a double down because he does go down, which means if he decides to go out into his Rayquaza or his Arceus and try and set up, I will be able to go right for the, uh, I will be able to go right for the Roar, and uh, I'll be able to burn a potential Lumberry on his E Killer, and uh, I'll get off the extra damage on his Rayquaza. So he does decide to go out to his Arceus right here, as he does not have a Lumberry, and uh, what I can do is just go right for Roar, as he chooses to go right for the, um, the Earthquake. So. Fair play on his part. Uh, what I can do right now is just go right out into my Kangaskhan and uh, just click the fake out. It has higher priority than extreme speed. Racking up with the um, racking up with the damage from poison. You know it's gonna be. Uh... Is this my team? Did I use this in a live? Did I? Yeah, this is Edgar's team. <laughs> but anyway, I unfortunately get a crit on him. Uh, you know, sucks. But I can't do anything about that, and I'm just going to switch directly into my Age Slash. I have no reason not to, as I'll be able to take an incoming extreme speed or even an Earthquake if you want to go for it. And his last is going to be his Rayquaza. I'm definitely not going to let it step on me, so I'll just go for uh, Gyro Balls right here. So, yeah, going to be able to get off a of Gyro Ball, and if Rayquaza comes in, I'm definitely going for Gyro Ball. That way I can go for Fake Out after that, and uh, I'd be able to, um, you know, neuter it as a threat. So, Rayquaza ends up coming in. I'm just going to go right for the Gyro Ball, no reason not to, I can't, there's no way I can choke this away if I, if I attack him, so he decides to go right for the Swords Dance, as uh, Gyro Ball does a decent amount to him, and uh, I can just go right for the Shadow Sneak, they don't run Roost, so his doesn't run Roost, if he is copying the team that I did use in a live, so going to be able to go right for the Shadow Sneak as he's able to knock me out with the V Create, and um, that is going to be a good game because Kangaskhan is going to be able to uh, finish him off, so... I'll say good game once uh, I knock him out. So There you go. Good game. And um, yeah, where are we on the ladder? So we are now 1659. I only got plus 7 for that. Wow. Thank you. Um, What time is home by? 18 minutes. Wow. We are not getting any points. Um, Look for a battle. And uh, we found one. So, opponent has a pretty cool team. Uh, I'm going to be able to get up T-Spikes versus him. No, T-Spikes don't really help. I want to lead off with uh, Tank Weezing though, that way I could burn his, uh... well T-Spikes kind of help. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to lead off with Tank Weezing, that way I can burn his uh, Groudon, and uh, did I turn it on and turn it back on? Okay. That way I can burn his Groudon, as the best thing he can do is go for Stealth Rocks or something, unless he has Overheat <laughs> on his Groudon. But uh, either way, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp right here. Um, a good play would be switching out into his ho -Oh, unless he has a Lumberry, then uh, that's fine either way. He might just go for his rocks, not knowing what Weezing does. <laughs> it's tank Weezing though, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't count it out. So I do end up getting off the burn, which is great, as uh, now what I can do is just go for a T-Spike as he decides to <laughs> paralyze me. Okay, um, either way, I'm kind of expecting him to want to switch out into his ho -Oh right here, so I'm going to pull the switch into my T-Tar. I don't think he would go for Earthquake. He ends up going for Earthquake though. Um, Weezing has Levitate, so I don't know if he knows that. I'm not entirely sure if he knows that. I don't know if I got predicted either. I don't think I got predicted. <laughs> either way, Xerneas <laughs> uh, is a pretty safe switching as he chooses to go right for the T-Wave. So, 
Now I'm kind of weak to his Ho-Oh. So I guess that was poorly played on my part, but then again, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I, I gotta play more. Yeah, he's just going for Earthquakes on me, as I'll be able to go for the Aromatherapy, not fearing this Groudon at all, so... I don't know if I agree with how these game, this play went out, but either way, I'll be able to go for the Moonblast right here as he decides to go out to his Gengar. Got off that chip damage. Aegislash is my Gengar check, as funny as that sounds, because I do have Pursuit. Most don't expect it. And even if he does stay in, I do have Shadow Sneak. So I can definitely go out to Aegislash as he goes right for the Sludge Bomb. And um, see, if I were him, I would switch out into ho -Oh, So I'm going to go right for the uh, Pursuit right here as I'm able to knock him out. Mega Gengar being one of the biggest threats to stall. But it is gone, and uh, looking like my Toxic Spike is there to stay, so... Is he just gonna go for T-Wave? <laughs> I don't want that happening. I'm gonna go out to my Arceus Grass. I don't know if he'll go for T-Wave right here. Oh, there it is. Just uh, playing around with the yellow color. Not even caring. Not even caring. There's no point in me going for Defog. I'm going for Grass Knot. He does have a really obvious switch in, in Ho-Oh. I don't want him going for Earthquake on me like he did last time, <laughs> in all honesty. But now he ends up going out to Ho-Oh, which is something I feel like he probably should have done before. Um, it is a Leftovers variant though, so I can go out to my T-Tar, as he'll hopefully go for Sub. If he goes for Sub, I'm in a decent position. So He has Earthquake on this Ho-Oh, okay. We're playing with power now, and this thing has just became a threat. So what I'm going to do is go out to my Mega Kangaskhan, and well, you know, Mega Evolve, by going for Fake Out. As he ends up going out to his Groudon, fine by me, uh, getting off some nice fake out damage. I really don't want him to T wave me, uh, but Return will be able to knock him out. I'm gonna risk him not having max speed. So, yeah, Return's able to knock him out. As um, he does have Rayquaza that can come in, he has Arceus. He decides to go out to Ho Oh, though. Fair play. Um, Tank Weezing helps with Arceus. This is hard, guys. This is hard. I want to do Arceus Grass doesn't really help much, but I know what I gotta do. I gotta sack Arceus Grass right here. Yeah, I have to sack it. I, I want I have to sack it to this ho -Oh, So he ends up going right for the Sacred Fire. No reason not to, as um he's able to uh, knock me clean out. I could go out to Xerneas and go for rest until basically the sun ends because I know I'll be able to eat a hit or eat up one hit. But I'm actually just gonna go out to my Canyon Scout again and just go for Fake Out uh, one more time. As um, I get off a bit of damage, I know for a fact that I know for a fact that um, Return won't be able to knock him out. But if I can get him in KO range of uh, Shadow Sneak, and he might not want to switch out because of potential pursuit, I'm, I'm going for it. So I'm gonna go for the uh, the Return as um, he goes right for Sacred Fire. He is able to knock me out, and now what I can do is go out into my Age Slash and go for the Shadow Sneak because I don't want to mess around with this Ho. -Oh. Uh, pursuit is kind of obvious. I'm expecting him to predict that and uh, able to knock out Ho-Oh, so I kind of misplayed a, a lot, <laughs> but especially versus this Rayquaza, but um, we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to switch out into my Tank Weezing as I should be able to take it on. Don't want to go out to Xerneas just in case he goes for the V-Create. Rather go out to Weezing just to um, quote-unquote sponge it. I need this for his uh, Xerneas and the King Shielding is going to be helping me versus his uh, Arceus. So I don't want to switch in my Xerneas directly on a V-Create. So he ends up going for the Dragon Dance, though. I'm going to go for the um, the Will-O-Wisp right here. I'll be able to eat up one hit. Just one possible hit. So yeah, I'm going for that as opposed to going for the... Uh, as I'm able to burn him. So great, great. Now what I can do is go for Pain Split and then go for Clear Smog from there. Uh, Tank Weezing putting the entire team on his back. As he ends up going out to his Arceus Grass. Ooh, revealing that it's an Arceus Grass. The counter. Wait, what is he gonna do to me? What are you gonna are you gonna Thunder Wave me too? <laughs> I'm just gonna go for key uh clear smog as he turns out to be um, a support variant. Can't really do too much about that. He's definitely just gonna go right for the um the recover right here. Yeah, like Arceus support Arceus Grass is just Arceus grasses in general are just hard to deal with. Uh, with this team if I don't get it toxic so I might have misplayed but he decides to go for the defog though as um, poison damage is not gonna knock him out I don't really care though about um, 
about him defog i'm just gonna go for toxic spike i feel like he's the type of player that will continuously go for defog if i set up hazards but he decides to go for grass nine instead sacking his rcs grass completely fine by that uh tank wheezing though eating that up <laughs> Eating it up as now he's gonna go out into his uh, Rayquaza and just gonna hit him with a clear smog as he decides to go for the V Cre Oh, I just <laughs> ruined his defenses. Nice. Just helped him out. Uh, either way, I'm going to um, be able to eat up his uh, Rayquaza's hits and uh, what I'm gonna do is. Oh, he ends up forfeiting. So, nice, nice, nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we are 1671. Let us look for another battle and I'll pause it or not. Wow, we're getting these really quickly. So, Hona has a pretty cool team. Um, this might be Arceus Ghost. I hope it's not. But I'm just going to lead off with my... Um, hmm. I'm going to lead off with my Kangaskhan because I can beat his Deoxys speed 1v1. I feel like I have no reason to go for Fake Out, so I'm actually going to go for the Return. Uh, as he'd be able to live Fake Out anyway, and I don't think he'll be able... Actually, no, that's stupid. I go for Fake Out, and then go for Return after that. He'd be able to live the Return most likely anyway, um, depending on his EV spread. So there's no point in me going for... A return. The oxygen speed is actually pretty bulky, so I'm gonna hit him with the timer and uh, we'll pause it until he makes a move. Move. Caught it midway. Nice. Nice. As um, now, what I'll be able to do is go right for the return and that will be able to knock him out. I can live any one hit from him, even like a life orb superpower. This, look, this is looking to be like dual screens, to be honest, but he decides to switch out to his Lugia. Um, completely fine by me. I do have a solid switch in being Tyranitar. I could go out to my Weezing, but I don't want him having Psychic or Aeroblast because they sometimes run that for, um, they sometimes run that for, uh, what's it called? For Gengar, or Mega Gengar, rather. So I'm just gonna go right for my Stealth Rocks right here. Um, he could just switch out into his, um, his Ho-Oh, but he decides to, uh, leave in his Lugia. Completely fine by me. I don't know if he's running Defog on this thing. I'd rather just scout, and I'm just gonna go out to my Tank Weezing. As he's more likely just going to go right for the Roost. And if he's running sub Roost Whirlwind, he won't be able to beat me 1v1 anyway. So I'm going to go for a T Spike right here. I can take a Psychic if he actually does have it. So I'm not expecting him to have it though. Uh, because he does have Ho Oh as well as. Well, actually, he might just have it. Yeah, it makes sense if he does have it. But he decides to go out to his Ho Oh. Um, Ho Oh is not a Tank Weezing counter. And. Um, we learned from before that it's good to go for two layers of Toxic Spikes just in case they have a support arc, so yeah. Look at me eating up that Sacred Fire, 27%. Do you call that damage? Do you call that damage? I have a pretty safe switch in being T-Tar now that I am poisoned. He won't be able to, um, he won't be able to burn me with the uh, Sacred Fire. I'm just going to go for Roar, expecting him to want to switch out into his Groudon. I don't think he want to stay in with his whole, it, will, it would die to a Stone Edge if he does go for the Roost. Then again, he might want to stay in. I don't exactly know. Either way, shuffling his team is uh, my best play when it comes to running stall. So I'm expecting Ground to want to come out. I do burn a potential Lumberry um, if he does have it. And it uh, looks like he did not, but I'm able to force him out into his Lugia once again. And I do beat Lugia 1v1 with this thing. To be honest, I kind of want to go out to my Arceus Grass and go for the uh, Will-O-Wisp. Hmm. I'm going to go to Marsh's Grass also just in case he wants to double back into his Groudon. Yeah, as he doesn't end up doing just that. And uh, what I can do is just knock him out with the Grass Knot or I can pull a double into my Ho-Oh or, or into my Tyranitar predicting Ho-Oh. But then I just end up pulling the switch back. I'm just going to go for a Grass Knot just in case he wants to try and uh, set up his rocks as he chooses to go into Ho-Oh, which is a smarter play. Definitely. And um, like I said, I do have T-Tar which can just come in and uh, wall this thing as he does decide to go for the roost. So what I'm going to do right here is actually go for the um, Stone Edge. As uh, he makes the better play going out to Groudon. Doesn't matter. Any uh, damage is nice damage, but I don't get any damage. So <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go out into my uh, Kangaskhan right here because I could just go for Fake Outs and rack it up. I'm thinking he's just going to want to go for his Rocks anyway. It's kind of an aggressive play by me, but I think it's going to work out anyway. So he doesn't go right for the Earthquake though. Um, I did show Weezing and Gracias, so I really wasn't expecting them, but either way I'll be able to go right for the fake out as he decides to sack his Deoxys speed to the, um, the fake out, uh, plus the poison damage. This is why I like Mega Kangaskhan on stall, so, and to go down to his, um, Arceus, uh, my name is Tank Weezing and you have no rocks up, so I will be eating up this extreme speed. Look how little that did. That's a life orb extreme speed. 
And uh, when I can, it was just go right for clear smog just in case he wants to try and set up. But he decides not to. Decides to go for it one more time. I can save my uh, tank wheezing to come in on his Groudon. So that's going to be the play I believe I'll make. So I'm just going to go out into my Age Slash. Um, I don't really need it for much. Wait, never mind. He does have a Xerneas. I'm going to go out to my own Xerneas. Let me cancel that and make sure it goes out to my Xerneas. Nope. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, either way, I can just go right for the uh, King Shield right here. As um, Toxic Damage should be able to uh, wear him down this turn if I was like looking. <laughs> so Toxic Damage is able to rock, um, wear him down as now he's going to go out to his Groudon. I do have a pretty safe switching in Tank Weezing and I'll possibly be able to get a, a Pain Split right here. I definitely will because um, I don't think Stone Edge can knock me out this range of HP. You guys saw Life Orb Extreme Speed from Arceus, so I'm going to go right for Pain Split right here as Stone Edge actually does knock me out. Wow. So he is definitely um, a defensive set. I'm going to go out to my Gracius, uh, an offensive set. I'm going to go out to my Gracius and I'm going to pull a switch back into my uh, Kangaskhan. Kind of risky though. Do I have to make that play at this point? I'm going to go for Grass Knot. He already showed the... Uh, the switch into um, his ho -Oh, so I wasn't expecting him to do it right there as he decides to go out to Lugia find my me I'll be able to get off a will-o-wisp on this thing uh, neutering it or uh, letting at least the damage rack up turn per turn and uh, what I'm gonna want to do is do I want to go for the aromatherapy with my Xerneas I think I want to go out to a Xerneas and just aromatherapy because the toxic damage is just annoying in general so um, I'm expecting him to actually want a whirlwind right here since he doesn't know my Xerneas set and I believe I'll just get off um, I'll just get off an aromatherapy, but he decides to go for the roost though Finally me. I do have a uh, Tyranitar that can just come in I'm expecting his switch into his uh, Ho-Oh or another toxic either way Tyranitar can easily just come in and uh, Yeah, so I know uh, stall is a bit more slow paced, but it's it does take a lot of concentration So he doesn't go for that con um, that toxic Fine by me as I can just go right for crunches and uh, wear him down, whittle him down. He does have his um, his Groudon, but he chooses to leave in his Lugia, which is great because I'm able to basically wear him down to uh, one more hit. Even if he goes for Roost, he will die to the combination of Burn plus uh, plus Sand. So I'm not expecting to want to do that. And uh, my Rocks are basically here to stay. I could actually just go for Rocks again just in case he wants to reveal like the Defog. He hasn't revealed any other move. I don't want him revealing Defog. Then again, I don't know if he has it, but he decides to go for Roost. Um, Crunch will be able to take him out with the combination of Sand plus Burn. So, that's going to be uh, down for Lugia. I love... Did you guys see how much Tank Weezing took from that Life Orb Extreme Speed? That is power. <laughs> that is that is pure power. I actually really love this team. Uh, shout out to my boy Edgar, who um, made this team and made it really well. So, I'm going to go out into my, uh, my Gracious right here. As once again, I can just go right for the um, the Grass Knot. He's not going for Stealth Rocks. I think this is the turn that he decides to stay in. So I'm going to go for the Grass Knot as he does decide to stay in right there. And uh, down goes that threat. So now he does have Ho-Oh, which can come in. I'm going to go out into my T-Tar as fodder. Get up the Sand as he decides to go for the Roost. And uh, Ho-Oh is still a threat. Not going to lie, Ho-Oh is still a threat. But... I can just go right for Stone Edge as he is able to knock me out with Sacred Fire. So now my plan is just go for the, um, hmm. Go into my uh, Kangaskhan and um, go for Fake Out. This is kind of why I, I want, um, I kind of want the uh, Toxic on my Aegis Slash because bulky mods like this are kind of threatening. And it might, I, I might have to like rest talk with Xerneas to beat him 1v1. We'll see though. I did 30%. This is a lot stronger. Eh, hopefully return will be able to knock him out. Yep, as it is. As it uh, is. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't return uh, reply with words. I think it's just easier just to put a PK face. <laughs> so, I'll be able to knock him out with the um, return. But he's either Scarf or he's running max speed as he's able to knock me out. I don't have max speed on the Kangaskhan. I find it unnecessary. So does Edgar. So... I'm, ooh, good thing I caught that, team builder. Not that it matters because we're basically done with this episode, but I wonder if Gyro Ball was doing crap. All right, and I'll be able to just go right for Gyro Ball as um, I'm going to be able to take this uh, this thing right here, and I'll be able to finish him off with the um, the Shadow Sneak. So that is going to be a good game. Good game, dude. And um, 
yeah guys so i believe we'll leave it at that after we figure out how many points we get from this battle thank you everybody for watching like i said feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed leave a comment i'll be doing you you next and um hopefully hopefully uh we'll be hitting up the top soon we're now 1688 where are we on the ladder we're climbing guys we are climbing Ooh, number 21 really close actually it seems like a, a light year away but yeah guys like i said uh feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it <laughs> like my friend said i was dared to say this i have to say this again uh refresh the page if you also enjoyed <laughs> i'm sorry guys uh, but yeah stay tuned and for more and until next time later